What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Jesse Warden here. This evening, we're on the Zero FXE. It is an electric motorcycle, so there's no clutch. So I can drink my coffee while I drive with one hand. Actually, I don't do that. What I do is I go to Starbucks and pick up Her Majesty, her Starbucks, so I can drive it back like this. It's only like a mile up the road, so not far. It's, it's actually kind of cool tonight. It's 78. Doesn't feel 78 at all. But I am going to go get a milkshake because it's one of those nights. It's Monday. <laughs> so we're going to play some tunes and then, uh, yeah, some hard drum and bass. And we're just going to take the zero out for a run. As you can see, she's at 62%. I drove her back from my father-in-law today he did a photo shoot of me on my Kawasaki Versus 300 the Versus X he did rock and roll photos back in the 60s and 70s otherwise Google his name he's got one of my favorite pictures he gave me for my one of my birthdays was George Carlin but he's got a lot of famous photos I think my favorites are always the crazy Elton John ones and then uh, Jim Morrison from The Doors is a really good picture. And every picture has a crazy rock and roll story behind it. So this stop sign is always super difficult in the afternoon because it's a very busy road, but not with this. You can just pull out, no problem, baby. Although people are cool, they let you in a lot. So whatever, the YouTube algorithm has been giving me a lot of liquid drum and bass, which is all happy and female singers. Very positive vibes. For some reason, they gave me the hard stuff now, which I'm happy about. All right, it's a lot warmer over here for some reason. It was cold up in Ashland. It's crazy going from the Versus Sex on the highway this afternoon. I was trying to keep up with traffic, about 80, and it's just super vibey. Then I get on this. It, there's no vibrations, but you feel the bumps of, like, the ground because there's, you know, no engine. So, I don't know if you can see the mirror vibrating. But for the most part, smooth ride. It's just the suspension is wound tight. They have this, like, a street bike. And it is a street bike, but I mean, the suspension could be adjusted because you can take her off-road. Anyway, you hit a little bump and it's just the pow, 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 pow. But overall, I just, I can actually feel my hands when I ride this bike after, you know, 20 minutes. On the Versus X, it's just super vibey. This is a stream here, man. Every time I go here, it's freezing, right? About here. <laughs> it's so cold. Look at that swamp. Then you go up here and it's okay again. And they're working fierce on the road tonight, huh? They've been working on this intersection a lot. It's every time I come here it's different. It's very confusing. Do I go left, right? I don't know. By the way, that was the ranch back there. I don't know if I was in my camera. That place is nuts on Friday. They have a lot of bands that play there. They're not all country. But it's very country themed. A lot of people in the radio rodeo up in uh, Ashland. They hit that place after the rodeo. If I didn't have kids, I would totally be all over that. It's not technically raving till dawn, but hey, whatever. I can still kind of dance, I guess. Yeah, this is weird. Usually you're like two lanes away from that curb, and now you're here. I guess they're going to open that one eventually. I don't know. Maybe this paint is temporary. I'm so confused. Anyway, we're going right there next to the Mod Pizza. There's uh, five guys, and they got a shake. That looks like a cruiser right there. I'm going to wave to that guy. What's up, man? Yeah, that's a cruiser. That looks nice right there. That's got a guttural roar. I don't know if you can hear it in the camera, but I can hear it. It's guttural. That's good. I like that. You know what I also like about that? I could probably flat foot it. That'd be nice. Let's go get 
some nasty dairy product that tastes so good. We may be functional in hours. I don't know. Obligatory sci-fi quote. You know, the electronic music video. Okay, I haven't got a brain freeze yet. That's good. So as usual with motorcycles, you have the incentive to take the uh, long way home. I'm going to spin my half a tank. Because I could go to town and back, but... Oh, I just... Want to go ride, man. Want to go ride. And I want to try that eggs place. I like eggs. They're next to the chicken salad chick place, which is also pretty good. All right, the other problem is this light never sees me. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it works. This car behind me might get angry. I'm probably better off just turning right. Let's turn right. It's not going to see me. Uh-oh, camera's in the way. That's not good. That's bad. That is bad, yo. Don't get hit by a truck. That'd be bad. Oh, wait. It's an ambulance. I could totally be hit by that. I'm an ambulance chaser. Wanting to prove my stupid joke. Okay, this would be hard to take the long way home when uh, Mr. Trucker here is in my way. It's all right. The ambulance has actually let me go in front of him. I appreciate that, man. I'm too shy to look at him. I don't want him to feel bad. He's probably yelling at me like, You could have gone faster. It's all good, bro. You are a nice guy. So I don't know if it was that Toyota dealer or the other one, but somebody went in there and they sold either a McLaren or something. <laughs> something crazy like that. They did a trade-in. I think they were just bored and they're like, can I trade it in for a Supra or something? Something that wasn't even like a sports car. The dealership just had no idea what to do with it other than just put it in the front. And everybody would come in and go, oh my god, is that a McLaren? It's amazing. And it was amazing. The guy who got bored of it, man, can you imagine? Eh, I had a Pagini. It's, it's so boring after a day. <laughs> and I thought I had a short attention span. So what's funny about this is it's not this particular uh, ambulance. There's a different EMS system. But my daughter has to get, you know, a few, like, hours into it. You know how, like, pilots have to fly a certain amount of hours? She has to respond to some calls while she's in that, getting training. And, um... It's pretty cool because, like, she, she was in a county where they were just transporting, like, sick people from the ICU. Or they were, uh, you know, responding to, like, people downtown. And most of their calls, like, they, the day she was in it, they had none. Like, I think they had one or two. So it was just, like, she's like, I'm going to have to go to a county where they have problems. I'm like, honey, dude, I don't want shit in those counties <laughs> where they have problems. But, I mean... If you're going to throw your kid into the fire, I guess that's one way to get experience. But yeah, so she passed her MIT class, EMT class, sorry, and she's looking at the Navy, Marines, Coast Guard. I keep trying to tell her to do the, the Army, but she's just like, I don't like their outfits. I'm like, come on, dude. You're from an Army family, for crying out loud. I never served, but every single one of my uncles and... My 20 billion cousins have. Whatever. Teenagers. I was the same way at her age. I understand. Ooh, Mexico's raving tonight. I like the new sign, guys. They're a good chain around here if you've never been. They're pretty good. We eat there a lot. Too much, in fact. Let's see. What's, what long way home could we take? We can take the mall. Let's go left. It'll be fun.
It's not really a mall. It's more like the strip mall. We'll take that, go run the back way, then take the back way home. So yeah, my friend Rick, who's uh, 49, he's in boot camp right now, again, because he re-entered. He and I met over there. I got to ride his Harley. I've never ridden a Harley before. It was a cruiser. It's belt-driven. Um, but man, it was like a 1100, I think, CC. So going from this thing, which, you know, is maybe like a 500, my 300 versus X to that thing. It was manageable. I was impressed. I mainly stayed in first and second and a little bit of third, but yeah, it was uh, it was nice, man. I can see why people like those. Very comfortable to lean back, and yet you still have that power, so you have you know fun. You're not just completely relaxed. It's nice. Yeah, this light doesn't detect me, man. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go around. Man, it feels so good since they put blacktop on this, you know? I mean, the gray stuff is okay, but I, I have fond memories of this on rollerblades. You get really good traction on this stuff. On the motorcycle, it's the same way. Really good traction. I'd be lying if I didn't say I was tempted to go over to Sweet Frog. I just went <laughs> to get <laughs> to get a milkshake. I don't, I don't need any more sugar. I mean, I want more sugar, but I don't need any more sugar. It'd be cool, though. We're gonna cross 295. It is a common workaround for a lot of the truckers who don't wanna hit 95. So up here on the left, over the next bridge, goes over 360. The guy who went to high school with my wife, he opened a barbecue place and I think he recently sold it. So new owners, but pretty good the reason I liked it is it consistent it's always challenging to get consistent good food even from your you know favorite place or a chain where they've automated everything but this place in particular I never had a bad experience it's the little things man the little things it also is cool that like it was local I don't know man I have half a tank I think I'm gonna take the long way home super long we're gonna try to go left. Let's see if this light. Yeah, there it is. Barbecue place. The old town smokehouse. That wasn't the old name. It had like a pink pig or something. Down there is an old pharmacy. I think you can see it actually. That little white thing. They have uh, good breakfast sandwiches in the morning. And I've seen a sports bar down there. It has a lot of bikers. They look like cruisers to me. I did not see any sport bike bros or any Jixer bros. Oh my god, it saw me. It's a miracle. Alright, I think I, I went the wrong way. And that's okay. I'll just turn here. Let's figure out where this goes. I have no idea where I am. And that's okay. Wait, is that a business? Wow, okay. I just discovered a new sandwich shop. That's cool. An accident, it turned into a good adventure. I found a new food place. All right, all right, all right. I could go for some cheesesteak. That's all I ate in college. Every day, man. Cheesesteak, cheesesteak. Oh, those potholes and... <laughs> Manual covers and street suspension. I really ought to play with the suspension on this. It's adjustable as heck. Apparently a lot of bikes don't have that. I should really take advantage of that. I have potential to tie him not to utilizing. Okay, like, this mix has been hard for the past, I don't know, 40 minutes. I'm gonna have to like this. Don't like and drive, kids. Do as I say, not as I do. All right, well, I'm not going to wait for this light. Maybe I can uh, sneak around that way. Yeah, let's do it in the gas station. What was that? Well, good news. If I crash here, there's a hospital right there. I've been there a lot of times, mainly with my kids. Never a fun time, but the nurses have always been cool. We're gonna cross nine to five again. So 
so cool. If I had more power, I'd, I'd take her on the highway with y'all. I was watching a motorcycle video on YouTube of some guy in a Versus X, and he got this racing air filter that you can re-clean. So you don't have to like buy filters over, you just clean it and then re-oil it or something. I'm still reading the instructions. Made by some Greek company that builds racing products. And I haven't installed it yet, but I did get that plus the kit. I'll put uh, a link to it in the description for the video. And if I can find that video I got it from originally, I'll point to him. He made it sound like it was amazing in terms of the engine sounded better and it ran better. I don't really care, man. I just I just wanted it to last forever. So if, if that filter is like really good, then I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? I've, I replaced the air filter when I replaced the oil about 1,500 miles ago, I guess. I've looked at exhaust add-on. Let's see that other thing. The power commander, all those things. I get very mixed reviews. A lot of people seem very negative Nancy on it on regards to uh you know taking these low cc bikes like the grom and all that stuff and then um you know putting these things on it and they just don't you know they don't get that much horsepower or, or torque or whatever but they do get a little and they're proud of it you know they built something they modified something so it seems more they're more interested in the ability to do that and enjoy that process rather than you know Oh wow, I can compete with a 400cc now on my Navi, Honda Navi. I don't know, it just seemed like the air filter was a, a nice thing I could do to it. Or something like the power cabinet really wouldn't do much. We'll take the woods home and pray there's no more raccoons this time, man. There's either deer or raccoons back there every time. I almost hit a little baby one, I felt so bad. I mean, I didn't hit it, but I was just like, dude target fixation and I froze at the last second I dodged them on the left but yeah I I was really disappointed in my braking ability there I really should have not frozen that well but you know target fixation's hard man you gotta practice so that's what we're doing right now and hard left bright light Oh, here comes the liquid drum and bass. Some singer, all positive. I've got a Cardo Freecom 2 installed on my helmet. So I have effectively speakers where my ears go. And on this bike, if you're not doing highway riding, I mean, it sounds pretty good. You still get a lot of wind noise. I've only tested the intercom once. I can't really get my girls to ride with me, so. TBD on if the intercom's really dope. It felt dope. Felt like a pretty good range and quality. Bright light. <laughs> Slow down. Hold right. <laughs> okay, that was grass. Not a raccoon. Not a deer. Far so good. That's where they crossed. Was right there. And then, oh, that was a bat. Okay. Oh God, it's a truck. Let's go right. Well, I hope you had a fun night ride with me, Jesse Warden, on my Zero FXE. I gotta go to work tomorrow. But after that ride, I'm going to be up for 24 hours because it was so exhilarating. Whee!